so that should be 1200. The only way of getting it in is cut along that line there. I'll take you down and show you at what point we're at with these trays. It will push in that end and it will drop down flat. If I can get past this first little bit, so I'm going to charge my phone up with the uni light. Just chatting away, radio on. Ken Bruce is pop master at half ten. I usually do shit on that anyway. Right, welcome back to the channel. Um, first off, I want to thank everyone who commented on uh, Wednesday's video um, about this job that I'm on. I'm on there today. Um, just the way it was going, and it just seemed to be a pain in the ass. This was wrong, this was wrong, this was wrong. So to sit, to read all the comments, and I had a lot of private messages about it as well, just from pe some people going, oh, you know, I don't work for builders. They're more asshole than they're worth, which I understand, I get that. I work with a couple of builders that are brilliant. One of the builders um, from the other video where we've got the remote control toilets and all that sort of stuff. That's a lad I went to school with. He's got his own building company. I know him. I've done his work for years and years. Not a problem. Um, this new builder that I'm working for, don't get me wrong, when I put an invoice in, he's paid straight away. He, you know, he can't do nothing. You know, he can't do more to help me sort of thing. You know, is everything all right, Mark? This, that, the other. It's just, it's just a build. Um, you know, it, you'll see today, it, it's now lunchtime. I've just sat in the van having something to eat. I didn't film anything this morning. Uh, didn't film anything on the way to work this morning, but I have done a bit of filming today and I, I will cut to that in a minute. But it's just um, things like the shower trays. You'll see in a minute, I've come to put the shower tray in. It's a 1200 tray. The chippies have built it, the frame, the stud work in it. And now the plasterboard's on. It's 1160, I think. So I'm gonna to have to cut the plasterboard off one side, cut the plasterboard off the other side, try and wedge it in, which I've done, and it's still, you know, it's still on the stud work. So I'm not getting into chopping studs about, so he's gonna to have to get the, the stuff here. Another tray, the big 1700 tray. Do you know what? I've had to take a little bit of plasterboard off one side, but I think I've literally got that in now. So what I'm gonna do after break is, is go in and, and, and try and get that one in and fitted. Um, so, a lot of people said just get your head into it if you're going to do it switch your mental sort of attitude towards it and just sort of um crack on in there so thanks for everyone who's commented and, and sort of like give their opinion on it greatly appreciated love to see the comments again comment below like subscribe all that jazz um i'll just finish my dinner off and i'll take you in i'll show you the, the footage i filmed this morning and then we'll go We'll go from there and uh, see what's going on. So, look at all the dust, just because I've tapped my legs on the bloody, all the plaster. Right, we'll get back in there in a minute. Right, so we've got a 1200 tray going in here, but from this plaster wall to this plaster wall, is only 1100. Yet from this joist to that joist, is 1200. So, the chippies have put this base in just temporary. So what we've got to do is cut out this this bit of plasterboard here, so that the tra so the base of the tray can go like that, um, and then we'll probably have to trim it even more to get the actual tray in itself. But it's just um, just a little bit annoying. But we just get it cut out. It is what it is. We get that cut out, and then they can patch that up afterwards. I don't really know why they've plastered the internals of the shower, but is what it is I suppose. So we've got a 1200 by 700 tray going in here. So that should be 1200. It's 1165. So that's 35 mil I've got to find within there. So we've got to chop the bottom off that, the bottom of the plaster off that, because between that joist and that joist is 1200. So whoever's built this enclosure hasn't allowed for the plasterboard or the moisture board and let alone the tiles for fuck's sake so this is what you get left with when the 
when the measurements set right in these cupboards. So from joist to joist is about 1200, but what I've got to do, I've got to cut along the bottom there. And the way this pivot's down, the only way of getting it in is cut along that line there, take that plasterboard out there for it to go down. It's the only way of doing it. So we'll get that cut out. It is what it is, and then I'll have to sort it out afterwards. So we've got that cut out. So hopefully between this joist now and that one, we had to slide this tray down and in. We'll give it a go. So this is how this one is. That's been pushed right in there and that's been cut out of the back, but it's still just resting on the timber there. So I'm not, I'm not gonna cut the studding out, but we're just gonna have to get someone in to, to sort that out. So we've got exactly the same problem with this one. 1700 tray, I think it measures about 1660 between the two. So I've cut that end in, and again, we've got to cut this end in here now. Right, I'm gonna take you back down now, finish my dinner, and uh, I'll take you down and show you at what point we're at with these trays. So there we go, I think I showed you that one. Um, right, this is the 1700 tray, the big, huge, massive tray. Now, again, we've had to trim the bottom out there, trim the bottom out down there, and it will, I had it in before lunch, it will push in that end and it will drop down flat. So we're getting somewhere. So what I've done, I've made the, the waist up here, what we'll do, we'll clean the bottom of it all out. It sits real good, it's flat, it's flush on the floor. So what I do, I'm gonna bed this one down on silicon on each of them. People do it different ways, tile adhesive, cement, whatever. However you wanna do it, I've always done it on silicon, never had a problem. So that's where I'm gonna do it, put that down, and then what they're gonna to have to do, it's the only way of doing it, then they're gonna to have to skim down onto the tray, which isn't ideal, or not skim, sorry board down onto the tray. I don't know why they've skimmed, uh, why they've plastered and skimmed um, the internal of the, the shower cubicles, but it's up to them, it's up to the builder, you know, I can only do what I can do. So as I was saying, yeah, I'll get the tray in, get it flat on the floor, get it connected up, and that one's, that one will be done then. And then this is a 1600 by 900. Again, we're gonna have the same problem. I know for a fact we will. We've got to cut that down and uh, we'll tackle that one this afternoon. But yeah, so that's where we're up against with this. Um, as I said before at the start of the video, you know, people just sort of gone, if you're gonna do it, just get your head into it. Either just bin the builder off and, and, and tell him you ain't doing it, which I get why people are saying it. I can't knock the guy, he, he, he's good as gold. He pays on time, you know, this, that and the other. So I don't, if I can get past this first little bit, you know, just the little niggly bits at the start, once they're in and that's that, fitting the bathrooms when it's been tiled won't be too bad. So I'll stick with it for a little bit, I think. Also on this job, the um, power's not onto the building yet. So I'm gonna charge my phone up with the Unilight SLR 1750 because it's got a power bank in it so you can literally just plug your usb into it and use it as a bit of a power bank for my phone and then mega lights as well That's it. So what I'm going to do now is line up the waist, which is literally bang perfect. I'll show you. We will just, we will just move and tighten it up. So we get that in. So now I know that's all right. I'm going to lift it, silicone it, uh, lift it, sort the waist out, glue the waist up, 
drop some blobs of silicon on the bottom of it and, uh, and get it set into position because I know it's all level in that anyway. of these uh, parts of the shower tray with silicone. I say some people do it different, some people do it with uh, tile adhesive, some people do it with cement, each to their own. I've always used silicone to bed shower trays down there, never had an issue in 15, 20 years, so that's how I'll do it. And it's all level, everything's fine with it. So that's the waste in this little tool here sits inside there. I'll show you. Clips in and just allows you to turn it and tighten it up easy. So there we go, that one's in. Waste's in. Give it a bit of a wipe over. And uh, at least we've got to get a bit of silicon down the back, obviously not along there and there, but it is what it is. So this is what we've got with this one. This is the 1600 train. I've just measured from there to there and it's give or take 1600. So we'll cut that down. We may have to trim a bit of that out. We'll wait and see, but we'll trim that down, get that out of the way, get the tray and offer it into position and uh, go from there. So we've got to cut out this, got to get it a bit lower down to here. So we've got to cut off that sort of amount. So this little boy comes into play again, but a lot of people commented on my last video, put something down there in case, just in case that bit drops in. So we'll give it a go. Right, so we've got the waist cut down on it, got it all scrapped out. Let's go and get the 1600 tray and see if this one's going to fit without any hassle. So we can see by this from there, it is literally just 1600. But if we check the back wall, let me just measure that. The back wall is, literally, is a good 1590. So, what we'll do is that's already out, we'll just trim the bottom bit off there so that should give us enough so we can tuck that edge in there and drop it that way. So hopefully we don't need to cut a bit out of both sides on this one. But we shall see. Right, so we've got the 1600 one in position now. So what we'll do now is Offer it into position, position. tuck that bottom bit in there and lie it down and see if it's going to fit. I don't know whether it will, but let's have a look.
don't think he's coming back out now. Right, so that one has literally just dropped into place. Yes, I've, that bit was already exposed, but I've just trimmed the bottom of it out. But at least we haven't had to cut that side as well. So we'll measure up for the waist, get the waist set, and then get it in once and for all. And that's another one in. We're making a little bit of progress. Right, so again on this one, blobbed each bit, cleared the bottom out. That will lift up so it will be falling into the waist. So we'll drop this into position now. Go. that's the 1600 by 700 tray in and the waist in so we'll just put a bead of silicon down the back bead of silicon down here and then the plaster is off the board that tuck it in seal it um, and it's ready for tiling so there we go silicon in done so that's another one ticked off right then End of Thursday. Um, do you know what? This afternoon I sort of got my head into it a little bit more. And as probably some of you have seen on my, if anyone follows me on my Instagram, I was updating the, the, the shower trays going in. Um, had a lot of people messaging me going, that job's a nightmare, get away from it. But do you know what? Now I've got like the trays in, I've got one in here, the trays in, and the build have come out actually. Another one in here. Um, the builder come out and I just sort of said to him, you know, it's all changed. The vanity units ain't going in and this, that and the other. And, you know, I just told him a little bit that I was just a little bit pissed off, I suppose. And do you know what? Fair play to him. He turned around. So there's not a problem with the builder. As I said, payments, not an issue. Whatever I want, not an issue. He's turned around to me and said, Mark, do whatever you've got to do to get the sweets in. If you've got to cut plasterboard out, cut it out. If you've got to alter pipes, alter them. He went, just do it. He said, it's got to be done. So just do it. He said, whatever you need, you know, give me a ring. Um, and if you need out, I'll get it out to you. Otherwise you just go and pick it up, build me for it. It's not a problem. And do you know what? That sort of has made me go, do you know what? Just, just roll with it. A good few people have said to me, just roll with it. I'm on a day rate on it. So, you know, there's no stress. I think I'm, I've been spoiled by the other job I was on, the house renovation that I was on, I've been spoiled by that. So it's just getting your head back into a new build, I suppose. But it is what it is, we'll get on with it. Um, back tomorrow, do some little bits. So, laters. Right, morning. Well, morning for me, it's Friday morning. I'm just on my way back over to this job. Um, feel a bit better today about coming over. As I said yesterday, I spoke to the builder, he came out and basically said, Mark, do whatever you've got to do. Um, and like I said from the off, the builder, you know, a lot of people have gone, watch builders, they don't pay this. And I've worked for builders for 10, 15 years. Um, so this is a new one, but payment wise, not an issue. So that's not even a, a, a worry or concern in my head. It's, it, was, it was more the job. But after speaking to him, do what you've got to do. It is what it is. So that sort of, you know, eased a little bit of uh, concern in my mind. So, as I say, we're just heading over there now. I've got one more tray to drop in after the uh, trays from yesterday. One more tray to drop in. It's the smaller one, so I've got to just notch out a bit of the joist. I weren't going to do it, um, but, you know, the builder's gone. Just take a little bit out of it. We'll sort it out afterwards. Not a problem. So, what can you do? So, we're just heading over there now. Um, I'll swing it by the garage, grab a coffee on the way, and uh, we'll get started. And do you know what as well? It's not a bad place to be working at all. Do you know, there's the build there. But look what we're surrounded by. Just fields, Warwickshire's finest fields. So it's dead quiet. It's dead quiet, no traffic. 
Spark is here today. So it's just me and him here. Just chatting away. Radio on. Ken Bruce is pop master at half ten. I usually do shit on that anyway. But uh, we'll get in there now. Get some bits done on a Friday. Right, so that's that tray that I was just on about. Um, I've just got it in. I just wanted to get me around it and get it in. So we had to cut the plasterboard out here because it just wouldn't go in. It was, uh, as you know, I think from that wall to there was 11.65 and we needed 1,200. So took the plasterboard out, opened that and get it us. Took the plasterboard out of there, still no good. So what I ended up doing in the end, if you can see, was just notching that stud out and that stood in the corner. As I said, the builder said, do whatever you've got to do. It's not ideal, but as opposed to taking all this wall down and moving it, that's the next best option. So it'll be reboarded, um, sealed, and then it will also be tiled down anyway and sealed in. So I don't see it as a concern, to be honest. I'm sure someone will comment and have give their opinion, but that's how that one's going. Um, it is what it is. And we'll get, I think the rest... Yeah, I think we'll get a bath in here. Bath's going in here. Um, taps this end, I think. Because if, you, if you're lying in the bath, you just want to look that way, I'd have thought. So, right, so we'll crack on with fitting this bath now. Now, these baths come with these legs. I've always been a fan of these sort of legs that have got these little bolts there, basically clips on there, I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a minute, but they clip on there, or that way, get it right Mark, clip on that way, and then you've got a bar that sits in the middle and holds them all together in the, on the frame. So we'll get them on and uh, get the bath put into position. So yeah, clips in there, clips in there, same for that side, can't really see there you go, clips in there, and then the bar across the middle, that goes there, wing nut on that side, and it just tightens these two together and pulls it all tight, like so, solid then, good legs. Well, it's been a while since I've fitted a set of these uh, old Victorian sort of star taps, but basically these these bits here sit within there, obviously, with the nuts on the other side. There you go there, and then the bath filler sits on the front like so. There you go, that's it. What I always do with these is, I, I put these into place first, just finger tighten them up underneath, then put this in and tighten them up, then tighten them fully and then tighten underneath. Because otherwise you can sometimes tighten each one up and it moves and shifts around. So put it in position, tighten these two up first and then do the two underneath. So what we've got here now then uh, is basically that bath's in position. The builder's having a meeting with the, the client on Monday to see which end they want the taps in. So we can switch that around then. I also need to know like bath heights and stuff to, to get it off the floor. And again, in here, meeting with the customer, knowing which side they want the toilet the basin, just because they, you know, as, I, as I've said before, they've swapped and changed their minds a little bit. Um, and the same in here with this one. Just need to know which side it's going. So, yeah, that's that. Um, everything seems to be coming together a little bit now, getting my head around it a bit more. Trays are in. Um, so, yeah, we're getting there. Right, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment below if there's anything you want to know or ask me or whatever. So, see you next week.